Okay, this is for Kelsey and for anybody else who's cooking turkey for Thanksgiving this weekend. You might find yourself, you know, Googling something like, how long to cook a turkey, turkey, or how do I thaw it? Well, skip all the Google searches because food expert Andrea Bucket is here. She's got answers. And if you want this turkey recipe, you'll scan the QR code on our screen just to get those instructions right to your phone. Oh, I wish everyone could be in here. It smells so good. This bird looks amazing. And we're gonna talk turkey. Yes, we're gonna talk turkey. Is the season for turkey. Everybody's got a secret recipe, but I trust yours. Good. And yours starts with herb butter. Butter is the way to everyone's heart, especially the turkey's heart. The best thing about the butter is that it aids in that browning, that gorgeous exterior crust that you wanna get. An herb butter is parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme, all those classic um, herbs go in there. You whip it up and then you rub it all over your bird. It's like a bird massage. A bird right? massage. Yeah, so like turkey is really versatile. It can go with like whatever flavor that you love, whether you bake it or roast it or barbecue it. I know people like to do it all different ways. Yeah. But this is just a simple, simple herb okay. butter. So do you just like yep. chop up your herbs, stick them into the butter? Yep, stick them into the butter, whip it up. You could do it in a food processor. You could do it by hand. It's really, this is a really basic 101 style recipe. And then, you know, there's different ways of putting the butter on the bird. Some people yes. go under the skin, some people go over the skin. What do you all recommend? All of those things. Oh, okay. All of those things. So season it inside and outside with salt and pepper. Rub the butter all over. You do want to get underneath the skin of the breast because that'll help keep that breast really, really nice and moist. Okay. Okay, so how do you know how much turkey you need for your crowd. These are the one-on-one -on -one questions. I yes. like that. Okay. And okay. how do you do it? So one pound per person if you don't want leftovers. But Anne-Marie, oh. I happen to know you love leftovers. I'm all about, the, that's what the turkey's for, is for the leftovers. Yeah. So one and a half pounds per person gives you the entire meal and then it gives you a good amount of leftovers to do your soups, your, your salads, whatever you want to do. Okay. okay. Um, next thing is how do you know when to start thawing your turkey? So Kelsey has been asking this question <laughs> all week long. Chris on camera has been giving her some instructions. Yeah. When do you do it? So it takes a long time to thaw a turkey. So five hours per pound in the refrigerator. If you're someone who has uh -oh. forgotten to thaw it, you can do the cold water method, which is submerge the turkey and allow one hour per pound and that'll get it done. But in the fridge, people oh, yeah. Most do people not do it, it in the microwave. Don't do it, no, and don't do it overnight. Don't do it on the counter. Yeah. Put it in the fridge five hours per pound. So like if you're cooking Sunday, you might want to get it out today. Put it in the fridge and it'll be fine in the fridge until you're ready to cook it. Okay, and then speaking of cooking, how yeah. long do we cook it? Okay, so it's about 15 minutes per pound if it's unstuffed, okay? okay? and 20 minutes per pound if it's stuffed. But always go by the um, temperature. So you want it to be, if, you, if it's stuffed, 180 degrees in the thickest part of the thigh, or 170 if it's unstuffed in the thickest part oh, of wait, the thigh. Speaking of stuffed, an important thing when you, before you cook your bird. Yes. Now, not everybody knows that the giblets are inside. That's right. And it's there in a little bag, and they have this. Oh, you're gonna cut it for us. Well, I'm just gonna open this. I have to use my hands, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't this is a hand situation. We're just gonna take off the leg first. Okay, this is how you but cut I, the perfect portions. Yes, but I wanna show you the most important here, Anne Marie, is okay. I wanna show you a fun way to cut the breast meat. So you're okay. gonna go along the inside of that breastbone. Okay. And then you can literally just start to tear it off. Okay. Use a little bit, use your knife here at the bottom to pull it off. Okay, so you're gonna take. Wait, the, I want to spin this just a little bit so I yeah. can see it, but I don't want to get my fingers. That's shut okay. Up. You're gonna take the entire breast off just like that. Okay. I apologize for you at home. If you saw me use my hands, you can use a fork at home. I wash my hands ahead of I'm time. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Okay. So now you're gonna cut it across wise like this instead of in long slices, and this will give you a better. Yes. Okay. So with this method, you get a little bit of skin on each piece. I'm using my fingers too. Perfect. And you also get, nice? it becomes more tender because you're cutting across oh, the grain. This looks like it does in the cookbooks, Andrew. Beautiful! Okay. Now you know the hey, secret. Um, and now we're gonna plate it. We are. Okay, okay I'm so I'm going me. to just take this with one fell swoop, and I hope. Andrew, I'm gonna let you do this because we also wanna get to the sides. Okay, perfect. This is beautiful, I love how you've done this. We eat with our eyes. We do. Okay, sides. Okay, they're telling us that we've gotta go, but I wanna do this really quickly. You've got stuffing. Stuffing, always a must. I'm going do it around. outside of the turkey around. because, you know, your turkey will cook a lot faster. Always do a double batch of stuffing. Of course, we got mashed potatoes, creamy mm -hmm. mashed potatoes. Amazing. Roasted vegetables. <laughs> and dinner rolls. <laughs> for the <laughs> all the size. <laughs> and then the these size. dinner rolls, what are we gonna do with them? We're gonna stuff them with turkey and mm. cranberry and stuffing at the end of the night. You made the perfect number, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm so thankful. Um, again, scan the code, recipe is there. All, All the, the information's on the web. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs> mm, this is great. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.